All right, so you probably already know that Rise recently added 22 new blocks that support audio. Well, that's fantastic uh, for engagement, but maybe not so great for you if you have to, uh, if you're stuck creating all the different transcripts for that. But now there's a, a, an even newer feature called audio transcription and AI Assistant will automatically create the transcripts for you. So you can just click uh, the transcribe button and AI Assistant will generate that transcript for you. And it's also gonna be editable. So if you see any uh, areas where maybe it wasn't perfect, you can make that correction yourself. So let me show you, show you how it works here in Rise. All right, so first off, let's just look at the typical audio block that we'd expect to see. So I'm gonna add a multimedia block. So new block, and then there's my multimedia, and then audio blocks up top. So this is sort of the old way of doing it, but you still may still may use audio uh, as separate blocks, but I'll show you the even newer way that we can do this. So here's my audio, let's click edit. And from here, I'm going to add, uh, edit my transcript. So with AI Assistant, you can see right now we have the option to automatically transcribe the audio file. Well, I need to add my audio file first, so let's do that. Uh, what are we gonna do? Upload, there we go, <laughs> replace audio and we can generate AI audio. We can record our audio right here within, within Rise. In this case, I actually have an audio file that, that, that I recorded. So I'll choose File, and there's my, my file. So just upload that, and that just takes a moment. I'm gonna go ahead and just generate, uh, transcribe the audio file right here, and we'll see how long this takes. Shouldn't take very long, it's only a, a paragraph for this. So once this completes its uh, transcription, you'll be able to edit the file just like you would any text in Rise. So uh, if there's any kinds of words or names that Rise doesn't get right, you're not, you're not stuck with it. You can just make those changes right there. Oh, perfect, there we go. So once we have the text, you can come in here, um, last minute, maybe hyphenated, right? Back and forth probably needs a hyphen and so on. So you can make any changes to the text. I'm gonna click insert audio, and that just takes a moment here to process. And what'll happen is when we preview this, we'll be able to view uh, the, the, the transcript off to the side in a separate column. So let's just preview this real quick and I'll show you what this looks like. So where is it? Here we go. So here's my audio file. Scheduling meeting. And I click the transcript right here. You can see that. And it comes off to the side and the learner has access to that. From an accessibility perspective, that's fantastic. But it also gives you a lot more uh, reason to work with audio. Now, when I mentioned this is sort of the old way, let me edit this. Since we now have 26 blocks that support audio, you can just jump into a block. In this case, it's a paragraph and heading block. I'm gonna choose one of two options. I can say AI tools, add AI audio, or you can use it the same way that you're used to by clicking the pencil icon and we just add audio. So it doesn't matter which way you do it. I'll click add audio, grab one of your selected voices. Of course, the recommended voices are up here, but then you also have uh, view all voices where you can uh, find thousands of voices. If you're going to go in here, one thing I would recommend you do first off is is use the filter and sort by either use cases. Uh, in this case, well, not sort by trending latest. I, I use case below, dialogue, narration, things like that, and then also categories. These will help you really filter and find the right voice. So use case, I'll tend to do. Um, obviously, I'm looking for professional or high quality. It doesn't really matter. I would say check those both out and then gender and age, but this will make it a lot easier for you to find the voices. And then once you do, make sure you click the uh, favorites, little heart icon right there, and add that to your favorites. So at least it's available to you each time you go and create the new voice. All right, I'm just gonna stick with the first option. I'll say use voice, and here's what I wanna do. Script, what do I wanna do? Do I wanna type my script? Um, or I can insert the text directly from that block. Now maybe I don't need the title read, so I could delete that and then just come in here and make that my, my block. We also have a script editor. So if I wanted to polish this script, I could choose edit with AI and do things like improve script writing, make it longer and so on. So this is separate from the AI writer that we normally see in the block level. This is generated, this is specifically for scripts. I'm gonna leave everything there, generate the speech. I should only take a moment here for us. Okay, you can play it back if you like. I know it'll sound good. I'm gonna click insert. And that just takes a moment there. Now I wanna show you how elegant this displays over the actual block. Look at that, it's nicely in line with the block. So this is the old way where you had to put a block, a separate block to attach audio files to the, uh, the, the block above. Uh, now we can integrate this directly with the 
a paragraph block, in this case a paragraph block. So preview one more time, take a look at it, and you can see right here how integrated it is. And then also you have the transcript option. We also have some accessibility controls like playback, and you also have the sound controls. So check it out, the new transcription feature. It's gonna save you a ton of time. Um, add audio to blocks like you've never done it before, and, and let AI Assistant do, do all the heavy lifting for you.